Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. From catapults to cannon to the modern day artillery, the role of artillery and big guns has always been a winning factor in the battlefield. Indian Army is operating a variety of artilleries with different ranges. For example, Bofors and Dhanush and M777 Hoitzers having a range of around 30 km, Vajra, ATAGS with high caliber artilleries having a range of 36 km and 40 km respectively. Now imagine if the range of light hoitzers are increased from 30 km to 50 plus km. Vajra and ATAGS hitting a target 68 km and 78 km ahead respectively. So this is going to greatly boost the Indian Army's capability to strike deep inside the enemy territories from a large standoff distance and will give Army an unfair or asymmetric advantage over its adversaries. In the lights of same, the Department of Aerospace Engineering in IIT Madras has started working on a project for long-range artilleries. The project aimed to increase the range of existing artillery guns more than 100% with the use of an active ramjet propulsion. Ramjet is another interesting propulsion technique and it uses engine's forward motion to compress the incoming air. However, it does not operate at speed zero and need propulsion to achieve the desired speed. Even Brahmos used this propulsion technique to maintain its supersonic cruise speed. This will not only increase the range of artilleries, but also the altitude of the operation and their overall flight path. However, at longer range, there is also need of precision guidance system as with increased range, the dispersion of shell also increases. IIT Madras was also working on developing the precision guidance kit for such extended range artilleries. The IIT Madras is also exploiting a traditional method called base bleed, where a chemical at the base of the shell burns and emits the gas to fill the vacuum behind the shell to reduce the base drag force. The base bleed enables to increase the range by 10 to 20 percent. However, to double the range, IIT Madras is using ramjet propulsion technology via indigenously developed fuel and air intake at the front which helps the shell travel faster thereby enabling it to achieve the double range. The IIT Madras is redesigning the existing shells using ramjet propulsion technology which will be compatible with all existing artillery guns such as Bofors, Dhanush, Vajra and ATAGS. Each gun has its own characteristics, but the shell developed by IIT Madras is of 155mm caliber which will be usable on all Indian or foreign origin guns that utilize the 155mm shell. The total cost of development of the project is around 9.95 crores only and the projected timeline in 2020 for the development was 2.5 years. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.